नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन दिस थर्ड सेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द डिफरेंट कन्वेंशंस यूज टू रिप्रेजेंट्स एन इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज मीन बाय इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल एंड इलेक्ट्रोलाइटिक सेल डिफरेंस बिटवीन देम व्हाट आर द बेसिक इलेक्ट्रो टर्मिनोलॉजीज that we have seen in the previous lecture so i request you to watch our previous two lectures and the link to this lecture is given in the youtube description box okay so let us discuss the different convention used in the electrochemical cell so previously we have seen the daniel cells okay electrochemical cells so let us look at this daniel cell so this is the daniel cell and let us know each part of daniel cell and what are the convention used okay convention manje kay ki davi kadcha electrode koncha ujvi kadcha electrode konta ani madhe tene connect kele tar te symbol ne kay symbol kay dakhavto he apan panar aahot so this is the daniel cell and its electrochemical representation is written over here okay look at here so zinc single vertical line zinc sulfate okay and then next in bracket aqueous is given then this two vertical lines Again, copper sulfate solution, aqueous word is given, single vertical line and copper. So, left side electrode is what it represents, right side electrode what it re represents. It means whether it is oxidation electrode or reduction electrode, then single vertical line, okay, what it represents, double vertical line, what it represents, then the uh, number or the words which are written in bracket what it shows that we are going to see in today's lectures so let us understand with the help of example okay this is the daniel cell simple daniel cell or simple electrochemical cell okay now look at the convention here okay this is the left side of our cell representation and this is the right side of our cell re representation okay now this single vertical line shows that this zinc electrode is deep in zinc sulfate solution single vertical line shows zinc electrode is deep into the zinc sulfate solution means here okay look at focus here so this is the zinc and this is the metal electrode what is the electrode electrode is a consist of a metal rod which conducts electricity this electrode is consist uh, is uh, deep in the zinc sulfate solution okay here zinc sulfate solution so the single vertical line is clear to you now let us move further okay this aqueous shows the we have the zinc sulfate liquid solution and here is the zinc sulfate solution liquid solution which contains zinc ions and the sulfate ions okay now two vertical lines okay and again out to the right hand side copper single vertical line copper sulfate okay similarly it shows that this copper electrode is deep in its ionic solution or copper sulfate solution or copper electrode is in contact with copper sulfate solution double vertical line okay what it shows now this left side is a half cell okay we can call this as a half cell this is the again half cell okay what is half cell a cell in which an electrode is deep in its ionic solution is called as a half cell so we have two half cell left half cell and the right half cell okay and both these are connected by a salt bridge okay salt bridge means what it facilitate the electrical conductivity between the two half cells okay now this two vertical line shows the salt bridge okay and now let us discuss more thing now the left hand side electrode okay means this electrode or here this okay this is the left side electrode and this is the right side electrode okay i will write like this so you will easily remember in the exam so this left side electrode is always negative electrode and the right side electrode is always a positive electrode i will just shift it little bit okay so at the top you can write here is the negative sign and here is the positive sign negative and positive so left side electrode is always negative right side electrode is always positive electrodes second point 
on left hand electrode LHE in short here RHE okay so on left hand electrode always oxidation takes place on right hand electrode always reduction takes place terminologies okay next the potential developed on the left hand electrode is oxidation potential it is e0 oxidation and here potential develop on right hand electrode is the reduction potential fourth point the single vertical line shows metal electrode is in contact with its ionic solution fourth point double vertical line shows two half cells are connected via salt bridge okay and the numbers or words or digits which are given in the bracket shows the concentration or state of the electrolyte or our electrolytic solution okay so let us discuss the reaction parts okay oxidation takes place means what happen uh, what reaction takes place and similarly reduction so i have written cell here again and this cell can also be written as this is zinc is in contact with its ionic solution zn2 plus then copper is in contact with its copper ionic solution okay second representation of this cell as i said on this left side electrode oxidation takes place and on right side electrode reduction takes place okay oxidation means this zinc will lose its electron it will form zn2 plus plus 2 electron so this process is called as the oxidation process on right hand side reduction takes place mean the copper ion from the solution will consume the electron and they will get deposited over the electrode and this process is called as the reduction okay the potential developed due to this oxidation reaction is equal to oxidation potential and potential developed due to this reduction reaction is called as the reduction potential e reduction okay now this is an electrochemical cell the total potential okay emf of the cell is equal to sum of emf of left hand side electrode plus emf generated to the due to right hand side electrode manje e l h e plus e r h e potential of left hand electrode plus potential of right hand electrode left hand electrode potential chi is equal to e oxidation potential plus is equal to e reduction potential so emf of cell will be is equal to this much okay so remember the sign convention and one more uh, convention is this left hand side electrode is always the anode and here it is always the cathode always the cathode now how to remember okay always look at here alphabetically okay a b c d nusar a come first c comes later o come first r comes later Posi uh, negative and positive n come first and p comes later similarly this okay so now what if i have a gas electrode zar gas electrode asel tar kay karayche zar representation kay okay he apan ata pude baguya so look at here rule number 5 in case of gas electrode inert metal conductor is always used okay so it is used in the convention for example the hydrogen gas electrode consists of dilute hcl solution in which platinized platinum foil is deep and over which hydrogen gas is bubbled okay means for this electrode to show the gas electrode we always need a inert metal support inert metal support over which a gas is bubbled okay so this is the hydrogen gas electrode first always write metal metal name then gas name and this is deep in the aqueous its uh, ionic solution aqueous ionic solution single vertical line shows that this metal is in contact with the uh, ionic solutions okay now 
सेकेंड इज द क्लोराइड इलेक्ट्रोड क्लोरिन गैस इलेक्ट्रोड सो सिमिलरली प्लेटिनम फॉमा क्लोरिन हियर यू यू मस्ट राइट इन ब्रैकेट गैस सी एल माइनस एक्वस सोल्यूशन ओके क्लोराइड आयोनिक सोल्यूशन और यू कैन राइट द प्रेशर ऑल्सो ओके फॉर बिलो दैट यू कैन लुक एट हियर दिस प्लेटिनम सो हाइड्रोजन गैस द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज रिटर्न ओके सो इट इज द प्रेशर सो एटमोस्फेरिक यूनिट इज गिवन आयोनिक सोल्यूशन एक्टिविटी इज वन एंड देन द अगेन करस्पॉन्डिंग नेक्स्ट इलेक्ट्रोड इज मेन्शन हियर ओके सो लेट इज रिवाइज ऑल द रूल सिंपल रूल्स वी हैव सीन ओके सो इन टेक्स्ट बुक वी विल सी दीज रूल्स द होल्टाइक सेल ओके इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल इज ऑलवेज मेड अप ऑफ टू हाफ सेल्स और टू इलेक्ट्रोड लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इलेक्ट्रोड एंड राइट हैंड साइड इलेक्ट्रोड इट इज नॉट ऑलवेज कन्वेनियंट टू रिप्रेजेंट द सेल डायग्रामेटिकली प्रत्येक वे सेल से डायग्राम का अपन दाखू शक नहीं तो सेल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ने अपन दाखू शको ओके फर्स्ट रूल द निगेटिव इलेक्ट्रोड और इलेक्ट्रोड विथ ऑक्सीडेशन पोटेन्शियल इज ऑलवेज रिटर्न टू द लेफ्ट डावी कड़ा इलेक्ट्रोड हा ऑलवेज निगेटिव इलेक्ट्रोड आता ऑक्सीडेशन टेक्स प्लेस होता दिस इज द लेफ्ट हैंड इलेक्ट्रोड इन द सेल एंड दिस इलेक्ट्रोड एट दिस इलेक्ट्रोड ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन टेक्स प्लेस ओके हा एक्सप्लेन के सीमिलरली पॉजिटिव इलेक्ट्रोड हा राइट हैंड इलेक्ट्रोड आता रिडक्शन टेक्स प्लेस होता सिंगल वर्टिकल लाइन का दाखते द मेटल इज इन कॉन्टैक्ट विच इज आयोनिक सोल्यूशन डबल वर्टिकल लाइन ओके डबल वर्टिकल लाइन शोज दी मेटल इज इन इट्स डबल वर्टिकल लाइन का पॉइंट सगड़ा सातवा पॉइंट दिल्ला है तो जस्ट वेट जस्ट वेट डबल वर्टिकल लाइन हियर हाँ यस फोर्थ पॉइंट डबल वर्टिकल लाइन शोज दैट टू हाफ सेल आर कनेक्टेड बाय अ सॉल्ट ब्रिज जर इनर्ट गैस इलेक्ट्रो मेटल सॉरी गैस इलेक्ट्रोड आल तो मेटल इनर्ट मेटल सपोर्ट सपोर्ट इज यूज टू रिप्रेजेंट दी गैस इलेक्ट्रोड फॉर एक्जाम्पल प्लैटिनम ओके वन मोर इम्पॉर्टंट पॉइंट इज दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्लो इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्लो कुछ होते निगेटिव इलेक्ट्रोड टू पॉजिटिव इलेक्ट्रोड कारण इलेक्ट्रॉन निगेटिवली चार्ज आता सो निगेटिव टू पॉजिटिव हा का हो फ्लो हो नर टोटल एम एफ ऑफ द सेल ओके टोटल पोटेंशियल ऑफ सेल विल बी पोटेंशियल ऑफ लेफ्ट हैंड इलेक्ट्रोड प्लस राइट हैंड इलेक्ट्रोड सम ऑफ एल एच ई प्लस सम ऑफ पोटेंशियल डेवलप बाय आर एच ई सो ई सेल इक्वल टू ई एल एच ई प्लस ई आर एच ई कि ई ऑक्सीडेशन प्लस ई रिडक्शन ओके लक्षा ठेवा यू रिमेम्बर दिस फॉर्म्यूला है लक्षा ठेल कि तुम इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल मदले प्रॉब्लम सोड़ता नहीं अजिबा कन्फ्यूजन हो रहा नहीं बयाचा यूनिवर्सिटी के एंट्रन्स मे कि एम एस सी के एंट्रन्स मे आट सेटू मे सुधा एम एफ वरती प्रश्न विचार ओके सो Frequently the question has been asked on this formula. Okay, they give you either oxidation potential, reduction potential, or cell potential. Any two potential is given, and they ask to calculate the remaining one. Okay, so this question uh, I have observed that this question has been asked in the MSc entrance examination, university entrance examinations, or set net examinations also. So remember this. This is a very important point. Okay, so is there anything remaining? Uh, no. so in this topic nothing is remaining so plus left minus uh, right rule so you will understand that this is not so difficult okay so in next lecture we will see the how to measure the amf of the solutions how to measure the amf of the solution so let us meet in the next lecture thank you for watching this session